The 222M Western reporting name Backfire was a successor for the earlier 222 design, incorporating variable geometry outer wing panels. Even though it is designated as improved version of the 222, the 222M is a completely different aircraft and has little common with the original 222. At the time Soviet government refused to fund development of new long-range bombers and instead focused on development on intercontinental missiles to deliver nuclear loads. The need for the 222M came out of the desire to replace its predecessor, the 222 Blinder. The Blinder was introduced into service in 1962, but it quickly became apparent that the aircraft was a major disappointment. Only a small number of the type were ever produced and upon entering service, it suffered extensive problems such as major unreliability and several crashes. The blinder would suffer from aerodynamic heating, which would distort the control rods and cause it to handle poorly, and it had a tendency to pitch upon landing. It's safe to say that the blinder wasn't a popular aircraft with Soviet pilots. Russia's 222M, also known by its NATO moniker Backfire, has thankfully yet to see the long-range strategic use it was at least in part initially designed to fulfill. That said, it has seen use against most of Russia's post-independence opponents in conflict and remains an important element of Russia's long-range aviation. The Backfire is a long-range aircraft capable of performing nuclear strike, conventional attack, anti-ship, and reconnaissance missions. Its low-level penetration features make it a much more survivable system than its predecessors. Carrying either bombs or AS-4 kitchen air-to-surface missiles, it is a versatile strike aircraft. Believed to be intended for theater attack in Europe and Asia, but also potentially capable of intercontinental missions against the United States. The backfire can be equipped with probes to permit in flight refueling, which would further increase its range and flexibility. With a crew of four airmen, the Backfire is capable of carrying a 24,000 kg weapons payload. In particular, the 222M is reportedly designed to carry the FAB-250 and FAB-1500 dumb bombs or KH-15 nuclear or anti-radar missiles, as well as the KH-22 long-range naval strike missile. Propelled by two Kuznetsov NK-25 engines, the Backfire can fly at a maximum speed of more than Mach 2 in its newest configuration. This configuration is also capable of firing Russia's new KH-47M2 hypersonic missile, which can carry a nuclear warhead.
It is fair to say that the Tu-22 became a much more successful aircraft in service than its predecessor did. It entered service in 1972 and took part in a major Warsaw Pact exercise in 1980 when it was first unveiled to the world. Tu-22s also took part in a simulator attack against American aircraft carriers in 1982, while the type was also regularly seen being escorted out of NATO airspace.